This video will focus on balancing equations for first grade. In this video, we're going to start off with some manipulatives, which are the color tiles. But at home, you can definitely begin with any like beans or coins of the same size. You do want to make sure that whatever manipulative you use, that they're the same size because that's going to help them to be able to determine if things are equal. You can use Legos, find some toys that are of the same size to help your students uh, uh, understand this. And we're going to start off with manipulatives to really help the students um, understand what equal means. One of the first things we want to talk about is that 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, or it can mean 3 plus 2 is the same as 5. And so we want to balance equations. And students have worked on these a little bit, but we're really going to start here. And we're going to get way more complicated. We're really going to scaffold into even finding some missing add-ins. But we're going to start real simple first. So to help students understand equals and the same as, we're going to use, like I said, the color tiles. So first of all, I can see 3 plus 2 equal five, equals 5. You can start with a plain piece of paper and just put an equal sign in the middle. If you do have some paper that maybe has some grids and things like that, that might be helpful for some students, but it's not necessary. One of the things we want to do is make sure that when we're using these that we start at the same point. So I'm going to easily, I know that 5, so I'm going to go ahead and just represent 5 real quickly over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I want to look at is if I have 3 on the other side, you see I've represented 3, they're starting at the same place, 3 plus 2, if I add on my 2 here, you can see that those are going to be equal. So this would be true, 3 plus 2 is the same as or is equal to 5, that is a true statement. Now, what if we look at it this way? Sometimes the students can have the sum or the difference on the um, other side of the equal sign. That is fine, and they've seen this since kindergarten. So this says 6 is equal to 4 plus 3, or 6 is the same as 4 plus 3. I'm going to go ahead and represent my 6 first. So that's 4, 5, 6, and then I'm going to add 4 plus 3. All right, so I'm going to start with 4 here. If some students are struggling, having something of the same color really helps them see the two um, add-ins here, four and a three. So there's my four, and I can add my three more. Once again, making sure I'm starting at the same spot. Is that the same or is that equal? No, six is not equal or is the same as four plus three because four plus three is seven. So that would be false. Now, let's take it up a bit. We have two plus one. We have um, equations on each side. Two plus one is equal to two plus two. All right, so I'm gonna start off with two plus one. And on the other side, I'm gonna start off with two plus two more. Once again, I wanna make sure they're starting at the same spot. So three is equal to four. Three is the same as four. That is not true because you can see there is four. There is one more when I have four and three. All right, so this would be false. Now, what if we mix subtraction and addition together? Wow, all right, so let's try four minus two. If I represent four, and then if I take two away, and then on the other side of the equation, I have three plus two, is that true or false? That would be false because I can see that five is not the same as or equal to two or two is not the same as or equal to five. And then our last one, look at there, we have a missing add-in. An add-in and add-in is the same as or equal to an add-in and another add-in. So I can think about three plus something, I don't know what yet, three plus something is going to be the same as four plus one. All right, now I need to think about what number would need to go here to make this true. What number needs to go there to make that true? So I've got three. If I add one on, does that make it true yet? No, because that's four is the same as or equal to five. That's not true. If I add on another, now that is equal. So then my missing add-in would be three plus two. I'd write a two in here. Three plus two equals four plus one. Remember, um, these manipulatives really help students understand the balancing uh, piece of this is a good place to start. And then the next video will show you what it can look like with drawings.